r slash ask reddit what's the dumbest myth people today believe i remember the myth that gum takes seven years to fully pass through your digestive system halloween candy is commonly laced with drugs or razor blades no one and i mean no one is giving their drugs to your eight year old for free it is believed in Indian culture that keeping your unibrow means good luck I kept my unibrow for 20 years thinking it is my good luck until I got stage 5th of kidney failure and I did my eyebrows after that because who gives a duck about luck anymore. Now my eyebrows look cuter eh. That humans only use 10% of their brain. This is false. Regardless of how those who proclaim this myth seemingly demonstrate that it is in fact true. I had a health teacher in school who told us once it's probably okay to actually drink during pregnancy because chances are the brain damage will happen to the 90% of the brain humans don't use so it won't have any effect on the baby. He proved this by talking about some woman he knew who drank during pregnancy and one of her sons is a student and he gifted program and the other one is an idiot. The gifted student got lucky and got brain damage to the unused 90%. Just WTF. Black belts have to register their fists as weapons. I can't believe I was dumb enough to fall for that. At some point, a viral video allegedly proved that the beg buttons at crosswalks are just placibus. Some of them are, but most of them really do add a cycle for pedestrians to get a walk signal. You should use them regardless. That there are magic pills that make you lose weight and gain muscle without ever going to a gym. Or that there are snake oils that will take years off of your face and make you look young. There's a sucker born every minute. Lightning never strikes the same place twice. Yes it does. That's the entire reason for lightning rods on buildings. That there are dozens of hot singles in my area just dying to meet me. Not sure if this fits here exactly, but the McDonald's hot coffee lawsuit being a frivolous case filed by a money-hungry customer. That poor lady was a real victim who suffered legitimate injuries who only wanted her medical costs covered. If you drop a penny off a skyscraper, it will eventually fall fast enough to puncture someone's skull. By that logic, raindrops would hurt like a bee or straight up kill you. Not to mention hell. Oh, I don't want to raise slash make more money, because then I'll lose more money to taxes and take home less. You only get taxed on the money that's made above your current bracket. It's literally impossible to make more money and take home less. Astrology. It's just a fun nerdy thing, but now it's almost religious beliefs. These people annoy the she out of me. I discussed it with a guy for about an hour. He couldn't accept the fact that I didn't believe it. The conversation ended with him asking me my sign, and then using my sign as a reason why I don't believe it. I see this excuse used often to explain why people don't believe it, regardless of the sign the person is. It's the cop-out answer. That if you touch a baby bird, its mother will abandon it because of the smell. Birds actually have a very crappy sense of smell yes, I realize there are exceptions such as vultures that do have a good sense of smell, but in general, smelling a human on their baby won't make them abandon them, as far as I'm aware. That shaving makes your hair grow back thicker. My 37 year old partner still believes this, and it does my nothing. The moon landing was fake. Ignoring that there were 6 moon landings. There is no way Russia or China wouldn't call them out. Russia had launched the Sputnik and had the first human in space. They had the means to track the moon landers. Both China and Russia can now get satellite maps of the moon. They can see the lander on the surface. No way either of them wouldn't miss the chance to humiliate the US. Do what you love and never work a day in your life. No one is paying me to play video games and eat pizza. The Titanic's third class were locked below and not allowed into the boats. Just about any myth on the Titanic topic, especially conspiracy theories, are extremely dumb. That Elon Musk is a self-made billionaire and invented Tesla. That an MLM can actually work, sorry, but you're selling rubbish to people who don't want it. If you were as successful as your Instagram account claims you are, you'd be getting headhunted by top sales firms, not trying to sell dish clothes and vitamin pills at £50 ago. That black cats are evil. 
Yes people do still think this. It's why they're not allowed to be adopted around Halloween. Because people will get them just to abuse them. Eating carrots helps you see in the dark. Wasn't that UK propaganda to hide the existence of radar from the Germans to explain how they could shoot them down? Vaccines are actually Bill Gates trying to put microchips in people and 5G cell phone towers activate them. Or vaccines are the mark of the beast. I mean, for duck's sake. I knew people were dumb, but are we really this dumb? Some people get the idea that all autistic people are complete and utter buffoons, and it makes me mad when people find out I'm autistic and suddenly talk down to me, even if we've held a lengthy conversation. It makes me even more mad when people think that I can't think for myself, so they stand over me and treat me like a baby. No no, Tron Nerd 82, don't handle those scissors. Scissors are for normal people. Then when I prove to them that I'm not a complete vegetable, they either act like I'm just being a grumpy baby or they question my autism. And this is why I just keep to myself regarding my autism unless I feel like I can tell someone. That in America it's illegal to have the overhead light on while driving. I believed this until a year ago when I saw someone say it wasn't true and googled it. It's like everyone's parents all just came together and lied to their kids about it, and they believe it usually until at least 18. I just finished reading a book about QAnon and Ho, that definitely has to be it. People believed that a secret government agent was using an anonymous chat board originally created to share an and hente to coordinate a secret mission against a child trafficking cabal of elites that harvested their adrenochrome to stay young. They were so sincere in their beliefs they literally tried to overthrow the government. I'm an atheist. I work in healthcare. I'm truly amazed and saddened by how many people believe health issues are either given by God or cured by God. Diabetes isn't a God issue neither is dying from heart failure. That dogs or wolves have an alpha and you have to be dominant over them. This has been disproven in 1970, but popular media like Caesar Millen has made it impossible to die like it should. Ensue false training advice, based on punishing your dog and severe behavioral fallout cases. It's a damn shame, because everyone wants to do what they think is best, but don't realize that this type of training does much more harm than good. That people in Columbus's time believed the world was flat, they knew it was round. As a matter of fact, the reason no one wanted to fund his expedition to reach Asia was because they all had a much better idea of the circumference of the earth than Columbus did. They all told him he was absolutely mad, not because they thought he would fall off the edge of the world, but because they correctly calculated that no contemporary ship could possibly survive a trip from Western Europe through empty ocean all the way to Asia. No one, at least no one in Columbus's world, knew the Americas existed. The premise behind Columbus's expedition was absolutely wrong, but he was lucky. If he hadn't blundered into a giant, non-nation landmass, he would certainly have been lost at sea. That the bones in museums of dinosaurs are real like the ones, not in sealed protected cases. They are molds of the actual ones. That all blind people have zero vision and that, if you see someone with a white cane looking at their cell phone, or reading a book, it doesn't mean they're faking it. They are likely struggling with blindness and you'd be hard pressed to find anyone who is faking something like this. Blindness, like hearing loss, has a spectrum. Not everybody who's blind shreds the same experience. People with retinitis pigmentosa often have a small pinhole of sight in their central vision due to some function of their photoreceptors and cones in the retina. Some forms of inherited retinal diseases can take several years, some several decades, to degenerate a person's vision. You can lose sight in your central vision, cones, or peripheral, rots. If you see someone out in the world who has a white cane and looks as if they can see, based on some behavior they are exhibiting please, don't be a dick to them. They are likely struggling with vision loss and the last thing they need is some ignorant fool making their lives harder. That ducking shiny rocks give you like positive energy or some BS that makes you happier and healthier. An on-living thing that carries no energy can't transfer energy it's basic she. If you wanted to transfer energy via a rock then throw it at your window. Dogs can smell bad people. My dog doesn't like you, so I don't like you either. People not liking dogs is a red flag. 
My dog is better than you. I love dogs and hate people. So tired of this group of people. I wish they would stop pooping on my lawn. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.